like every other youtuber if you think that you will also get some masala some spice here out of this topic sandeep maheshwari versus vivek bindra then you are in the wrong place this is a bhagavad gita perspective on this entire controversy and i am not going to give you things like who was right who is wrong or oh, maybe he's right both are right both are wrong both are right in some way both are wrong in some way don't generalize over generalize i am not going to do any of this but what i am surely going to attempt today is to give you a scriptural a vedic perspective on this entire controversy now we all know what this controversy is about and almost uh, every youtuber i know or most of them have spoken on this you know like the right wrong and all this you know the technical stuff the moral stuff you know and and let's keep that aside for a moment but what is important for us is to understand along with who is right wrong what is correct what is not correct apart from that along with that what is also important for us to know is what does the uh, scripture say regarding certain uh, situations which has happened especially to dr vivek bindra so now now uh, it is important for us to get some context and we know there is some allegation of scam or anything like that well of course uh, the courts will decide what is right what is wrong who is correct who is not correct but how do you understand this from a scriptural perspective and what should we understand actually this is very important because today vivek bindra ji or sandeep maheshwari ji is going through all this uh, tomorrow it may be uh, you or me or anybody who goes through all this okay which means uh, the, we may do certain things with good intentions of course but then later on uh, they turn out to be not the best things that we wanted right so when this happens what happens is uh, people they lose faith in us they lose trust in us they believe that this was our objective and our aim and our goal from the day one which may not be the case and certainly might not have been the case with uh, dr vivek bindra but then why has certain uh, events manifested see from a scriptural perspective you have to understand that lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita directly he says this direct it's like no ifs no buts no uh, conditions applied okay he directly hits the bullseye he says dukhala ma shashvatam he says this material world is a place of misery he says it categorically he does not say it contextually or allegorically or by any by he, he does not sugar coat it he directly hits it this is like the end of it all like material world is a place of misery see why is the material world designed you have to understand the material world is designed for reformation okay so the scriptures explain that when we were in the spiritual world with god then we also got a desire somehow unfortunately uh, due to whatever reason that we also want to be like him okay and then this material world was created by lord krishna and then we came here and to some universe to some in some yuga and then you know we are doing all this you know karma i am in germany you are in india or america or australia or wherever and we are doing different types of karma and then you know we are getting entangled in all this karmic uh, reactions but what is important is to understand that this material world is not meant for enjoyment now there is some enjoyment there is certainly some enjoyment well, there is or maybe there's considerably good amount of enjoyment here but the enjoyment is limited because our instruments of enjoyment they are limited you know if you like to eat sweets how many sweets can you eat 10 20 30 maximum 30 can you eat you like to eat gulab jamuns maybe how many gulab jamuns can you eat can you eat more than 30 maybe there's some world record of somebody eating 50 or 60 gulab jamuns but can you do it every day can everybody do it for all eternity no you can't right so uh, it it's as simple as that so the material world is meant for reforming our consciousness and going towards the spiritual sphere back to uh, back to the spiritual world and that is what krishna says at that at the end of your life if you think of me then you will come back to me okay and once you reach there krishna says yadgatva ananivartante tad dhama paramam one who reaches 
they never comes back this is lord krishna's guarantee all right so there's a lot of talk on guarantee you know like somebody guaranteed if you take this then you will earn this much money every month or something it's like a guarantee well there's only one person who can guarantee something and that is krishna and nobody else krishna has guaranteed that once you reach back to the spiritual world you will never return back and accept him or accept lord ram there's nobody in the universe even brahma cannot give you a guarantee what to speak of normal human beings like you me or somebody else right even if you may have a hundred thousand million billion followers you still cannot give a guarantee you know even hiranya kashyapu brahma and ravana hiranyaksh all of these people when they pleased lord brahma to get boons and brahma ji came and asked what do you need my son they ask we want immortality amaritva you know, we want to never die we want to stay for eternity uh, but then brahma ji said i myself am not immortal i also live for 100 years as per brahma ji's uh, yearly calculation it's not the calculation of the human beings it is 311 uh, 14 trillion uh, something like that okay it's a huge number <laughs> but uh, what is important is to understand that brahma himself cannot guarantee that you will not die he cannot guarantee it for himself how the hell how in the universe can he guarantee it for you or me no he can't do that uh, so therefore uh, we see what what happens with these demons at the end okay so therefore krishna guarantees but within this material world there is no guarantee okay nobody can guarantee any insurance company guaranteeing you this or any astrologer guaranteeing you oh yeah give me this money i'll give you this gemstone no i will uh, you do this puja go to banaras go to haridwar do this do that this will happen that will happen but there's no guarantee okay so therefore if you want guarantee then ask that from only one person who is that person krishna himself and nobody else do not waste your time asking guarantees now of course there could be 99 percent guarantees somewhere but no guarantee is 100 percent no guarantee can be 100 percent unless it is coming from god himself and therefore we have to understand at an external level also you know, we may be there in youtube or instagram or wherever wherever we are we may have so many subscribers we may have so many followers you know we may or you may not be in social media you may be in your own circle and you may be loved by people in that circle but what you have to understand that from a scriptural perspective when your past life bad karma opens up then what happens is even if you don't want to such things happen which are beyond your control okay so we can see what is happening in this case you know things are going ahead of i mean going out of control for both of them you know uh, somebody has filed a case again i mean uh, vivek bindra has filed a case against sandeep maheshwari this has happened that has happened you know so when bad karma comes uh, you 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 have to face it there's no other alternative okay now again this is not a debate on who is right wrong and all that that's a separate debate going on okay and uh, for that we have to wait the courts will decide okay who is right or who is wrong from our perspective we can't say oh this person is right this person is wrong okay but the courts can decide so what we need to understand is that all this name fame power position money wealth influence everything of this world is very 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 temporary they may be extinguished anytime they may be taken away from us at any time even if you see the life lives of virtuous uh, people of great devotees of krishna even like the pandavas if you see their lives like yudhishthir maharaj he is the king of the entire world all, almost the entire world he did rajasuya yagya he defeated um, he i mean not he directly but bhima as his assistant and defeated jarasand by guidance of krishna and you know so many other kings they subdued and they did this rajasuya yagya and then what happened you know within one night one single day duryodhana and shakuni karna dushasan and all these the crooked koravas headed by duryodhana accompanied by karna and uh, mastered by shakuni they converted the the most powerful pandavas the most 
handsome, the most uh, powerful physically, mentally, the most influential, the most loved, the most spiritual people into slaves. It's like they converted them to Das, right? And then, of course, they were banished, you know, then we see Draupadi, you know, she was dragged to the entire assembly in, into the Kuru assembly, which was from that incident known as uh, the Asat Sabha, which is, you know, Asat means something very bad, okay. So, so that Sabha became Asat Sabha because of this. Now, then she was dragged and then Dushasan was desperately trying to uh, disrobe her and you know do all these things which nobody can even imagine you know even today nobody can imagine you know what to speak of those days and then all of her five husbands they were sitting you know and they were sitting helplessly they could do nothing absolutely Bhishma was sitting he could not do much Drona was sitting Vidura was sitting they tried but still nothing worked out and at the end, what happened? She raised her arms high in the sky and she called out for Lord Krishna. And then Lord Krishna came and protected her. So Krishna is teaching <coughs> this uh, from the Draupadi's uh, Vastaran Leela that if you trust other guarantees, you know, guarantee of your husband, Draupadi had five husbands. Can you imagine? Not and every every husband was like supremely powerful in their own area okay like Yudhishthir Maharaj was the perfect executor of all religious principles he is known as Dharmaraj Yudhishthir then you know there was Bhima he was the strongest person alive you know or maybe at least <laughs> top two or top three and then Arjuna was the most handsome he was the most heroic Nakul said they very intelligent very handsome like best of the best you know, like uh, sons of Ashwini Kumaras, they know all the healing, you know, Ayurveda, allopathy, this pathy, that pathy, everything they know. <laughs> then Bhishma, he's one of the 12 Mahajans, he's like Yamra, he, he's, uh, he's one of the 12 Mahajans and Vidura is Yamraj himself, you know, so Yamraj came as Vidur and as Yudhishthir and even these people together, Dronacharya, so, so, so phenomenally powerful. Nobody can defeat Dronacharya. Kripacharya, phenomenally powerful. All these people together combined could not protect Draupadi's honor. They tried their best or maybe not or at least they tried to whatever extent they could. But they could not. And at the end, Lord Krishna had to come in the form of the Sudarshan Chakra to give her unlimited sari. You know, sari or whatever she was wearing one cloth it was not even a sari can you believe it no she was in her menstrual period her cloth was tainted with her menstrual blood and in that situation she had one cloth and somebody drags you to the assembly like this you know pulling your hair can you just believe it what would be going on inside her uh, head inside her mind when this happens you know what a traumatic experience that could have been uh, so therefore you see the life of Prahlad Maharaj also you know like Hiranya Kashyapu hell bent on uh, killing him you know his own father hell bent on killing him okay so all the guarantees of this world whoever that person is um, even up to Brahma what to speak of other I mean human beings you know even Indra, uh, Indra, Brahma anybody uh, okay nobody can guarantee 100% all right and no matter whatever you have in this world, it can be taken away from you at any time. Okay. It's just a matter of time when things go wrong. Now, of course, when I say it can be taken away from you, it does not mean that uh, now in case of Vivek Bindra, it does not mean that there is some controversy or some allegation, you know, just because of that, everything will fall. And, you know, he has like 20, 22 million subscribers. I don't know the exact number. And tomorrow he will have like, you know, half of his subscribers will go away. No, no, that will not happen. Uh, maybe, hopefully not. Or uh, it does not mean that people will suddenly uh, stop coming to him. You know, people are still watching him. But what I'm trying to tell you is difficulties will come. Okay, people may be there. Today, they may not be there. To, today, Vivek Bindra is like the target of everybody. Tomorrow, uh, Sandeep Maheshwari, he may be the target. Okay, or somebody else, you know, any other famous YouTuber, any other famous politician, any other famous uh, cricketer, footballer, they may be the targets. Okay, so therefore, 
we have to understand that the material world is a very dangerous place and even though we have the best intentions in our mind sometimes things may turn out in a very ghastly way in a very unpredictable way and when these things happen we need to understand we we will panic of course because situations are very dangerous but we need to understand that i have to stick to my principles i have to be true to myself and to whatever extent i can i have to defend myself and i should not leave dharma i should not start doing adharma or irreligious activities because somebody else is doing wrong to me okay because a scorpion will always a scorpion will always <laughs> No, but we as human beings, it is our duty to maintain our uh, composure and calmness, okay? So therefore, uh, whoever is guilty in this case or whoever is guilty to whichever extent, it is our duty to take the lessons from there, the spiritual lessons. And these lessons will help us eternally, timelessly to improve our consciousness. So therefore, if you are having a lot of material riches you know like dhanam janam sundarim so dhanam is wealth <coughs> then uh, janam is you know birth in a big family sundarim is like you know good looking members of the opposite sex if you have all of these and you are very obsessed you are like you are you are too much <laughs> then maybe sometime when your time when your dasha changes <laughs> <laughs> an astrological language when your Mahadasha primarily or when your both Mahadasha and Antadasha changes to a bad Dasha then there will be serious problems and all these things can may be taken away from you okay so therefore if you have more then don't think you are God you are not God I am not God you are not God nobody is God here nobody is perfect there is only one person who can be perfect and he is non-different from Krishna or Lord Ram because Lord Ram is Mariyada Purushottam. He is the only perfect individual. There is nobody other, no, no perfect person. Okay. So therefore, Lord Ram is the only perfect person and we should not search for perfection in anybody else. Okay. Of course, people will be perfect to a large degree. Okay. The scriptures say that human beings can be uh, as perfect as like complete but not 100%, 100% nobody, only Lord Ram is perfect. Lord Ram and Devi Sita, they are the only perfect uh, people that you can find because they are not different from uh, Narayana and Lakshmi, okay? So, uh, apart from them, you cannot expect perfection from any, anybody, not from yourself, not from me or not from anybody else. You know, your spouse is not perfect, your mother is not perfect, your father is not perfect, your teacher was not perfect, your child will not be perfect, your grandchildren won't be perfect, your neighbors, nobody, your friends, colleagues, relatives, anybody, nobody will be perfect, okay? So therefore, we want perfection, but let us dotail this quest for perfection towards the right source and then we will understand that life is much beyond all these petty things and these things will not affect us beyond a certain extent. Alright, thank you so much and please take care. Jai Shri Ram.